Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil Director's Cut. Now, we are getting ready to leave the mansion and head for the underground. Now this means there's going to be plenty of hunters, which is why I have the magnum. I like to do this bit quickly as, you know, constantly dying while trying to get hits with a shotgun can be a bit tedious. So, I find it handy to just take 12 rounds in the magnum. That's six in it and six in one of the loaders. Now let's see if I can dodge this dirty little boy. I said pop one into his side and run into here. I can accept that. Now, I think it is just doggies in here, so they're not going to be much of a threat. Now, hello, doggies. That's it, run over to me. Try and eat my ankles, why don't you? So now we've got to cross over here again. Just think how unsafe this would be. And you know, because the lift isn't working, the umbrella employees have got to go there day after day to get to the housing. It's terrible. And more snakes are falling from the sky. <coughs> Hello, Mr. Snakey. You can't eat me, you know. We could try and eat my beret, that's about it. Oh, and I've activated all of them. Not good. Now that was just jammy as hell. This is going to be interesting. Mm, nope, not taking that. Now, if I can... Mm. Now. No, oh, Jesus, come on. There we go. Now getting back through there is going to be the problem. Now what do we have to do here? We have to do what you do with most Resident Evil games, insert a crank. And the water is now full. Uh, look at that lovely water effect. You can even see the individual squares they're made on. How lovely. Now, getting back down here is going to be the interesting thing. Hey, doggy! Well, that worked. Synchronized dog jumping. See, sometimes you can walk past them, others you can't. Let's try that again, shall we? See if we can just walk through here. Wow. <laughs> and yet I've done that before and it hasn't worked. Maybe it's something to do about how close you get to them. And now, we enter the mines, or underground caverns. I forgot there's a door there, you can hardly see that. Oh, 
Jill, what good timing. Very good timing, Barry. I heard someone's voice coming from this hole. Let's go together since it's dark and we can't see very well. Will you go with him? Yes, okay, I will go with Barry. Go. Okay, then I'm gonna cover you. Let's hurry. Hey, are you all right? I can go first if you want me to. Okay, let's go, Barry. I'm depending on you. You can stay with us, Mr. Burton. Because then we have two magnums. And two magnums are better than one, especially if it's the ice creams, because the almond ones are delicious. Now, what is over here? A first aid spray and some grenade rounds. Not too bad. Do we want to take that? No. Because I don't really think I need to use them anyway. I've got plenty of green herbs and I think I've got three of them in my box. Cheers, Barry. I wonder if they're crawling around on the roof like lick... Barry likes that wall. And he's looking at Jill's arse for perthered. Is that Jill? Is that voice Enrico's? Is that voice bad acting? Yeah. You're alive! Wait there! Are you with anybody, Jill? What? Oh, yes! Enrico! So, Barry and Jill together. Are you all right, Enrico? The stars are doomed. Someone is a traitor. Everything was plotted from the start by Umbrella. Ha! My uh, God, who could have done such a thing and shot him? Enrico! It's not going to be anybody in glasses with blonde, slicked-backed hair, is it? Probably will be. He couldn't have moved because of his injury. And Jill, your hand is very close to his arse. He's holding a crank. Now I've got two cranks. Brilliant. Any ammo for me, Enrico? Any? Any? Nope. What about you, Barry? Do you have anything to say about this? Barry is investigating. Well. He can investigate to his heart's content. It is time for us to continue. And yes, what joy has befallen us, the hunters have spawned. <sighs> you dirty little blighter. Come here. Come on. See, I made the mistake of not bringing healing items with me. So, this means... Oh, never mind. Although there is that first aid spray, but that does lower your ranking. Oh, I'm fine, I'll survive. Yeah, yeah. Because there's a typewriter down here, but no safe box. Not yet, anyway. Is that one? Yes, it is. Now we have to wait for her to crank. You work that crank, Jill. Cranking, and cranking, and cranking, and cranking. Jesus Christ, Jill, hurry up. I've got zombies to kill, and hunters to be decapitated by. Now, I do think we get the flamethrower now, which will be a lovely addition to our arsenal. Ooh, no. 
Oh, joy. And we'll get ready for it. Bum, bada, bada, bum. Bum, bada, bada, bum, 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 bum. Well, that was exciting. And now I do believe this will spawn a hunter behind us. Yep. Flame rounds, yes, I will take them. You dirty little cheats. I only thought there was one of them. Bugger me sideways. Come on. Yeah. So we've got seven shots to take down the next boss. Well, this is going to be interesting. Very interesting. Oh. Well, that wasn't as interesting as I thought it would be. Oh, now we've got all the little mini bastard spiders. Ugh. No, I do think that only takes like two or three. Let's try and kill as many of these as we can. Spider herding. Oh, you're joking! Okay, time to get out of here. I swear to God, if I get killed by one of these... Nearly killed by miniature spiders. Now that would be just embarrassing, there was nothing else in here, is there? Nope. Oh. Well. That could have been worse. You know, it'd be nice if Barry came along to help us, but no. No, he's too bloody lazy. Now, first thing I'm wanting to do is I'm wanting to... Get rid of these. Now, I need one crank. I can't remember which one it is. I think it's... That one. I need... And we're going to be swapping back now. To the handgun. And I'm sure there was another clip here. Yes, there was. I'm gonna take that. Any more mixed herbs? Uh, there's plenty of herbs there. Now I think that's all I need. So, let's finish off this area, shall we? Hopefully this door will be open. Yes, it will. We don't need the flamethrower. Um, over here. Oh, I wonder what's going to happen here. Da da da. 
And I'm alive. Why put a map at the end of the area? That makes no sense. Doom book number two. I wonder what could be in here. My goodness! It's another medal. And of course, as a place to use the crank. And we just have to put up with the slow cranking. <sighs> and use it again. Good God, Jill. Come on. Oh, don't use the handgun. <laughs> Uh, oh, now ah, we're done. <clears throat> that is good. And onwards to another puzzle. And guess what it involves? Pushing things. My favourite. Now we push it to about here. And because I'm lazy and I can't be asked watching the crank animation again. <sighs> it's the same statue as from the dormitories. I think we're dealing with weeping angels here. That's not good. And we have the lab key. Jolly good. And that's this area finished as well. Absolutely bloody spiffing. I hate the transitions between the camera angles in this area. So goddamn blurry. And yes, we are now outside. I actually want to know. Ooh, herbs, and I have room. I actually want to know where that door is. So it's in the courtyard. So that door... Where would this be? Now... I'm trying to work it out. So... I don't know, no, you can't see my mouse, never mind. Hmm. I don't know. I can't think of where that door would actually lead to. Let's quickly get these, shall we? Oh, I don't think we need any blue herbs. See, poison always used to kill me when I played these games when I was a lot younger. Because, you know, I'd spend too much time actually trying to kill the spiders, or things like that. And I'd go through millions of blue herbs. But, in this... It doesn't seem to be that much of an issue anymore, that is. No, just imagine having to do this every day to get to work. Going and getting the books, putting the medals in, waiting for the water to drain. And then you've got the effort of climbing down those stairs. I mean, if you think about it, it's got all that water on it, all that algae. It's not going to be safe to walk down. I mean, you could fall, you could slip. I mean, look at it. There isn't even a guardrail down there. That's like, what, a hundred foot drop? Umbrella has no regard for health and safety. It disgusts me. But yes, ladies and gents, we are here. 
the last 45 minutes of the game or so. Depending on how well it goes. We are descending into the laboratory. And we come across the blessed item box. And this is where I'm going to end this part. I'd like to thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next part. Bye-bye.